What's going on guys? Welcome back. If you guys are new here, then consider subscribing. My name is Mario and you know, we talk about photography. I keep saying photography but for some reason I have not come out with a photography video, but I'm working on that by the way. But we talk about filmmaking, gear, you already know all the good stuff. And in today's video, we're going to touch base on one monitor and that monitor is this one, the Automos Ninja Inferno. So we're not going to go into full details on this monitor, the specs and whatnot. This monitor is pretty old. I think it's like two years old or so. So there's no reason for me to talk about it. There's many YouTube videos just talking about it already and uh, so there's sort of really nothing for me to cover. I do want to touch base on a key thing that no one has talked about and it's coming from experience. Hopefully this video helps you guys decide if you guys don't have a monitor or if you guys do, why you guys should get this monitor. Alright, so first of all, if you guys do not own a monitor at all, then definitely buy this. We're going to talk about the negatives real quick and we're going to throw them out the way. So the negatives is batteries are big, they die fast, you need to have a lot of batteries. Another bad thing is the size of it, it's a 7 inch and it's heavy. Uh, not that heavy honestly, but it is heavy compared to other monitors, so those are the negatives. Really, that's pretty much it. Uh, but now we're going to talk about the positives and why I'm making this video. And that is the reality why you should own this. Like why this monitor, I'm not, it's funny, like a monitor, the way I see it, they changed my life. The experience that this monitor gives out to all clients. Um, now, obviously, I could have gone with a five inch, like all, a lot of people do nowadays. You know, because it's smaller, it's lighter, it fits in your bag easier, and etc. But there's nothing like having a seven inch that you know it looks beautiful, it's big, and it's just experience-wise that you bring to your clients. Like for me myself, I shoot a lot of music videos. When I show artists their clips on this screen obviously with the LUT assist that it has in here I could put up to like I think 10 LUTs or even more you know they can see what the outcome might look like like you know they see at least 80% I still got it graded but for the most part they see what their you know videos gonna look like so they get super pumped and obviously the 5 inch monitors do the same thing but there's nothing like having that 7 inch where they get sucked in and they see more detail that is why I praise everybody that has a 5 inch man get a 7 inch don't get the five inch because it's light and because now you're doing it for yourself. You're doing it because it's lighter for you and you know you don't want to carry extra batteries and all that. And I completely understand that, but there's nothing like having a seven inch, something bigger that you're doing it for the client. If you really want to make this your full-time job, you gotta start stop thinking about yourself and start thinking about the clients because at the end of the day, it's the experience that you give them and who you are and what you provide that's gonna end up having them come back. And realistically, this monitor has done a lot because everyone that sees it, you'd be surprised. Like normally, you know, after you should get a shy, like, girl, let's check it out, let's see the playback. I'll normally have like everybody come over my shoulders and everyone's just looking at it and then everyone's like, oh, yo, like, you know, they get all pumped. The five inch do the same thing, but there's nothing like having that extra two inches that makes a big difference, honestly. If I can have a 10 inch monitor, trust me, I would. Why is someone texting me when I'm on this? One second. All right, so sorry about that, but yeah, why would someone not have a seven inch monitor? Like, you know, like I mentioned, the five inch, it's smaller and all that, it's nice to have, maybe to have as a side, but when you're shooting clients, especially music videos, artists, for the most part, you know, I don't know how the big, big budgets go, but in terms of like, you know, from the $1,000 to $5,000 budgets, the artists wanna see some playbacks. They wanna see how they look. They don't wanna look bad, or they wanna see what the visual's looking like to see if they can trust you going forward. and. You know, when you give them that seven inch experience, that view, and they see it with the LUT, they get super excited. And I have, every video that I've shot, when they see it, they get amazed. Especially like, cause you know, when you play it back on the automobiles, colors pop out, people get shocked. Like, wow, it looks like I'm watching like a movie. Like, it's, it's crazy the way people just go based on this monitor. That's why I'm just making this video, man. If you guys have a five inch, or you guys do not have a monitor yet, pick up this Ninja Inferno, or you guys don't even have to have the Ninja Inferno. I don't know if there's like a lower version to this, but these should run cheaper now just because they're a lot older. And honestly, it's worth carrying that extra weight. I use a cinema camera and then I mount this on with two big Sony uh, batteries. It's a heavy setup, but you know what? I do it because I know at the end of the day, the clients are gonna come back. They're gonna love what I bring to them. Obviously, this is not gonna be the most important thing. The most important thing is giving them the visuals and you know the video that they want. But this overall is the experience. The experience, you know, pays a lot. It means a lot. 
So I always say it's the experience. Stop thinking about yourself. So if you got the five inch because, oh, you know what, it's lighter, etc. Like, no, get the seven inch, the size, it matters. That's funny, the size matters. I know what you guys are thinking. No, we're not talking dirty here, man, all right? But the size does matter. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to make it quick and simple and just tell you guys, to, you know, this this has changed my life. I feel like the experience that I've given to my clients, you know, it goes mouth, uh, mouth to mouth and people start talking and then before you know it, they're friends and friends of friends. They all end up hitting me up because, you know, they like what I bring. You know, it's kind of similar to these lights here that I'm about to make a music video, I'm about to make a music video. Actually, I am gonna make two music videos with these tube lights, but I have a few of them and I just bought them and there's a reason why. I could have rented them out, but that's another topic for another video, another day. But yeah, guys, just make sure you guys buy this Ninja Inferno and this video was not sponsored, by the way. This is like a legit coming from me. I've had this for two years now and I've shot over like 50 music videos, if I'm correct. Maybe I'm exaggerating, maybe like 40, but yeah this every artist that sees this they all say like wow i've never seen this like this is crazy it looks like a movie and it plays a big part so that's pretty much it guys if you guys were new here again consider subscribing like this video if not if you guys find it helpful but if you guys agree if you guys disagree then just double tap the dislike and then like the video and i'll see you guys next time um for sure, I'm doing two big music videos, by the way, this upcoming week. So these tube lights will be used for those. And uh, we'll talk about it after that, my experience. But overall, right now, I'm just touching them. I'm trying to see what the effects are. So, you know, I understand how to go about it when it comes to the day of the shoot. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.